Hi guys, how's it going? It's Raj, it's me again, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at, in my opinion, the ultimate APK for 2019, the ultimate Android app for streaming your movies and TV shows in 2019. Honestly, this app's so good, you're definitely going to want to be using it at least every day, uh, especially if you're addicted to your shows. <laughs> but, um... But no, it's a solid app, and we're going to be taking a look at it today. It was previously known as uh, Morpheus TV, but uh, it's now been rebranded and called Morph TV. It's been out a couple of months, but as usual, it's taken me a bit of time to get to this one of my uh, busy schedule. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. Here we go. So it's going to look like this. It's going to say Morph TV, and this is the screen you're going to be loaded to. It actually looks really nice. I, I'm, I'm loving the back black the back back <laughs> black background with the um beautiful tiles here awesome awesome job by the developer just want to say that really quickly but let's go ahead and start in settings actually because these are uh, this is probably the most important section of the video actually go down to autoplay now autoplay what enabling this and this does autoplay for tv shows and movies uh, what it does is it will search for the links and it will automatically pick one to play for you. So basically you won't have to click through those random links. It's automatically going to find the best source and play it for you. So it's pretty much becomes Netflix on steroids. But um, the thing with this is sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it hits a bad link and it's there with a black screen, uh, you could be uh, waiting a long time. <laughs> and uh, no one wants to sit there for two hours of the black screen, do they? <laughs> so what I usually recommend is you can turn it on, but I'm going to leave these off for now. But if you do want that one-click experience, yeah, go, go ahead right there. You guys go ahead and select those. And for player, uh, I usually like to keep these settings the same. If you do find that you uh, are getting buffering on the app what I like to do is actually go to max buffer size and extend it to about 50 and minimum buffer size to about 10 and also actually to add in there I do like to increase the buffer for playback so I usually go five seconds just to give it that extra bit if you do have a slow internet connection but we're running on like a hundred megabits here so uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem with that but uh, there you go back out of that and let's get right into it before I actually want to mention as well there is a cast button at the top right so we're going to be taking a look at that as well so you've got trending popular search favorites I'm just going to go trending here but uh, bang it's right here um, what I love about this is you don't have to click on the movie to get a synopsis. You can just scroll here and at the top it actually gives you the synopsis. Isn't that just great? Because <laughs> I know in previous ones that you had to actually click and then the synopsis would come up. A bit like in Cyberflix and uh, Terrarium, but this is great. Uh, let's go and try one. Let's go Night School. So click OK. And also, just to mention, this works perfectly with the remote, so you don't need to worry about that. All right, so it's going to start generating links. Now, you can just go ahead and click on this rapid video that's right here, or you can decide to wait. You see this little circle to the left of uh, generating links? Um, you just got to wait for that to get to the end if you want all the links. But if you're happy with the links that are here, then you can just go ahead and click it. So if you were on autoplay, it would already have started trying to play this by now. But because we're not, it's going to wait for all the sources uh, to load up unless I specifically click on one myself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click on one myself because I'm pretty happy with the links we're getting. Um, let's go. And another thing is always try and go for the one with the least milliseconds right here. So I'm going to go for uh, stream and go or rapid video, should I say. And uh, it's going to come up with these inside it. So go for the smallest one. See? 2550 go for that and uh, click on that obviously there is the movie size if you're concerned about your bandwidth then go for the least but uh, I've got unlimited bandwidth so don't need to worry too much about that so it'll automatically download the subtitles actually if you want to disable that that's in settings as well so you can go ahead and do that but I usually like to have subtitles on my movies especially if I don't understand the dialect they're talking in. there you go it's come up absolutely beautifully we're gonna go ahead and back out of that and this is the gist of the app. It works absolutely amazingly, in my opinion. What we're actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn autoplay on now so you can see how it works with autoplay. 
So let's go ahead and enable autoplay for TV shows because we're going to be testing TV shows next. Uh, another thing is you can also download movies here. Um, subtitles, if you click right here, you can disable these subtitles. So I'm going to actually disable them to show you that it will load without the subtitles. Let's go into TV shows. Uh, let's go into trending shows. You can also search for your movies and TV shows as well, which is beautiful. I'm going to go with Vikings here. Have not actually seen this, but I've heard it is cracking. So let me know in the comments down below uh, if it's any good. But um, let's go season five. And yeah, again, I just love how it comes up with the little thing at the top, the synopsis and little preview thumbnail and just everything. The layout is perfect. Gives you the IMDb rating straight away. I know on some apps you have to actually wait for that. So uh, that is always amazing. And eventually this is the screen you will get to. So there it is working amazingly. Absolutely amazing. And there you go. So that's how this app pretty much works. Honestly, I'm so amazed by this app. In general, just the way it works, just the smoothness, uh, how fast it is. Uh, do you not just hate when you have a small device and it clogs up all your RAM? Well, the thing with this app is it works well on any device. And I'm running it on my uh, first generation Fire TV stick. I know I'm lagging behind. I haven't got myself the 4K version yet, but uh, definitely a review is going to be coming on that very soon. So there's your app. And now we're going to be taking a look at how you guys can get your hands on this amazing app. So first, you guys are going to need file linked. So I'm going to go over this for both Fire Stick and Android users. If you guys are on Fire Stick, then simply go to the search in your Fire Stick menu and type in downloader. A little orange downloader should pop up and just install that. And then just go ahead and type in get.filelinked.com and then press go and then just simply hit install. And once it's installed, then enter the file linked app. For Android, this is what I recommend you do. Go to the Google Play Store and download the little downloader. It's exactly the same as the one on Fire Stick. Download and install that, and that should pop up on your main menu. And then just go ahead and type in get.filelinked.com, and then press go, and then just simply hit install. And once it's installed, then enter the file link app. If you don't want to do that, you can always go to your browser and type in get.filelinked.com and then an APK will start downloading and then just click on that APK and install as usual. So both you Android and Fire Stick users, go ahead and open the file linked app and this is a screen you should be welcome to. The code you want to want to type in here is 530-53526. Hit that continue button and then you're going to be welcome to my ad free app store. So here is where you'll see all my ad free apps. You can download whichever ones you need to. If you want to change a player with Morpheus or Morph TV, should I say, uh, go ahead and download MX Player Pro. That's always a good one to have. But if you're looking for Morph TV, scroll all the way down and you'll see Morph TV version, whatever it is currently and latest and ad free. Go ahead and hit that download button on the right there. Once that turns into a little play button, go ahead and hit that and you should be welcome to an install screen and then hit install. There you go. So now you guys are wondering, well, Raj, how do I stay safe? How do I stay safe? You've heard of ISPs, you know, cutting their customers off from the internet. You've heard throttling, all that stuff. And you know, how are you supposed to protect yourself from it? How are you supposed to keep your data safe so your ISP can't see what you're doing and can't, and can't affect your internet performance? Guys, this is why I recommend IP Vanish VPN at only $3.49 now. I know, guys, amazing. I've just dropped the price even more. $3.49 a month. You guys get protection for a pretty much all of your devices that you're going to need. Your data is going to be fully protected. No one's going to see it. 100% privacy. And the best bit? It's not going to slow your internet down. I bet you guys didn't know that I was using IP Vanish VPN during this tutorial. I mean... How fast has it got to be? It's absolutely ridiculous. And the best bit, anyone can use it. I'll let you into a secret. I've even got my grandparents using it. All you do, you just open the app and this is a screen you'll be welcome to. Choose whichever country you want. Choose whichever city you want. Choose whichever server you want. I always leave them on best available and then just go ahead and hit connect. That's it.
That is how simple it is. Can it get easier than that? I don't think it can. I really don't. And there you go. Just look at that graph there. Look at those speeds it's given out. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Guys, get yourself a late Christmas present this year. Get yourself a New Year's present at only $3.49 a month. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Protect your data and keep it all safe. And last of all, enjoy streaming. I want you guys to enjoy the streaming for the new year. Please, please do yourselves a favor. Do me a favor. Don't get caught. Get yourself this cracking deal. Link is ultraarch.net slash IPVanish. Go ahead, go there, and grab yourself the deal of a lifetime. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you smash that like button, hit up a comment down below, and also smash that subscribe button. Follow my other social media, Instagram and Twitter, for some new tech information and all the latest and greatest in the tech world and yes um 16,000 subscribers am i happy i'm overjoyed guys i cannot stress how much i'm gonna thank you right now thank you thank you thank you so much i'm ever so grateful i wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you i just want to wish you guys the best new year it's the happiest of happiest of new years and honestly you guys rock you guys rock what can we do in 2019 can we break another milestone can we get to the beloved 50,000 I know you thought I was gonna say 100,000 50,000 subscribers next year let's make it happen thank you ever so much for watching guys and it's on that note that I wish you a very happy new year and take it easy and uh, <laughs> don't get too drunk all right